Oi mate, Bill Grouse here. And today, welcome back to another episode of Mind for Survive. Today we're going to be surviving in the Andy Track Trail. And if you ever get lost in the Indian King Creek Trail, this is going to teach you how to survive. The Indian Creek Trail is a wilderness trail in southern Ontario. Although it is remarkably beautiful, it is known for its dangerous conditions and wildlife. We recommend that you do not try this at home as people in this video are trained professionals. This like here right in the Indian Creek Trail is a really important place you need to be if you get lost in the Indian Creek Trail. There's a really big lake with many different species of wildlife. There's like fish, birds, snapping turtles and a lot more for nutrition. And if you ever need to travel you can always have a boat. It's a good way of passing by. And if you're in a wildlife situation, water is the most important thing you ever need. Oh, another good rice sauce for it, if you're stuck here, is these spectacular berries. A lot of trees here have these certain uh, flowers, especially this one. They're actually really nutritious when I'm around here. I usually like pick them up. They're actually really good. Like, you get a really good look at it. Really good, bro. Whatever. There's certain types of uh, berries that you shouldn't eat, especially this one. These berries, they might look really delicious from the outside, but these are actually very poisonous. I found another marvelous thing. I found a beehive. It's not cool. get the honey this would be a really good source of food but i can't reach this i need like a stick uh, uh, i have to go find some like other stuff practicing hygiene is really important in a wilderness scenario and as bear girls will show you there are many ways to do that it's really important to practice your hygiene wherever you are no matter what so always if you're by rivers you always gotta wash your face I can't tell you guys how much my love for nature is. I just love surviving and enjoying the nature and wildlife. And yeah, these and these, these are uh, branches. It might look like a sausage, but it's really not. It's like it's like an actual plant that's in a marsh for the water to help the plants plants grow. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I, you could also use this as like a, a kebab stick, but like for like whatever food that you kill, you just slide it in and eat it. It's like a kebab stick. Okay, I found an amazing find. I found some snails. They're actually really good for food. When I used to survive, I used to always eat snails. It's like, look at them. But I'm not gonna eat the snails today. I think they, cause I'm not actually trying to survive out here right now. But if I were to try and survive, I would be eating the snails. Yeah, gotta put them where they need to be. You can say. Well, I mean, these really shallow grasses, and this is actually really dangerous. I wouldn't recommend you guys doing this because there could be lots of dangerous creatures like snakes. The northern goddess, I put a picture right there for you, and uh, money, other different species in Ontario, like other different snakes. And, and there's only this one snake that's very venomous. It's a mosasaur rattlesnake, they're really venomous. Yeah, so I w I'm doing this because I am a professional. Yeah, you heard it. Um, you guys, I wouldn't recommend you doing this. Look, guys, it's a robin. Uh, they, they, they particularly eat earthworms. They're not really good for the environment because they eat earthworms. And earthworms, they're really good for our ecosystem. So that's why in the 1800s, uh, we were killing them a lot. Guys, I sight a bank burrow. If you don't know what a mink is, they're really dangerous predators. Look, get like a nice shot on it. I'll put up a picture of how a mink looks like. Like, go in. like it's a big ass burrow. Like I can like put my whole arm in there. It's pro I don't know if it's still there. So we gotta like head moving because minks, they're really dangerous animals. They eat mice, rabbits. They, they can eat animals two times as big as the size. We have entered the most 
dangerous part of the Indian Creek Trail, the woods. Look how big these trees are. Right over here, this shag bark tree. It's called shag bark because the bark is really shaggy and it's made out of bark. Like, if you're gonna make a fire, this is really good bark to make it with. Like, shag bark was really good. I can't explain how good shark buck is useful in the wild. This tray is actually really flammable and really edible. You can also eat this. Really flammable. As you guys can see right now, over here, right now, this coyote footprint. If you get a close look at it, it's coyote right there. It's almost the size of my palm. Get the comparison. It's half of my palm. That's honestly incredible. This tree right over here fell over. And like this tree is bent in half. I find that pretty cool, not gonna lie. As you know, a woodpecker, I'll put it I'll put it on the screen over here. Right there. Is it made the woodpeckers they make holes in the trees so that for shelter? And I'm pretty sure 87 posit percent positive that that is a woodpecker hole. The more as you see on this beautiful tree right here, if you go into the rally bottom. You can see it's called moss. Moss right here. It's pretty nice. I love moss. It's a really good card. If you play Minecraft, you always know what moss is. If you don't know what moss is, I'll put it on the screen. Right here, the moss. And moss tells you if you uh, if you're going north, you if you see moss, it's more likely that you're heading north. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And this block is significantly cool. An important thing to do in the wilderness is make a shelter from the rain and wind. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a teddy bear. So first you want to collect a big, a big stick, okay? And then when I'm going to use this tree for, for example, and I'm going to put it right here, okay? Right there, okay? You want to like put it there. You want to make it big enough, okay? You want to hold it there. Yeah, right there. And then you want to just keep on putting sticks around that one particular tray. And the finished product would be a tape. I spent about one and a half hours on this. And I'm close, I'm, I'm about done. Um, I'm going to put the final stick right over here. And it's connected there. Yeah. Just look how inside the teepee turned out. Like, I'm gonna do a teepee tar. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take you to the entrance. Okay. So, when you come right here, right here, look, there's at least, at least put like, 60 sticks in this whole thing. Okay. You go in here, it's the entrance. You go across. This is where you'd be probably sleeping. It's like a big plat place. You could like fit like at least three people up in here. And it could protect you a lot. And here, I made it really sturdy that it won't be able to fall. Like, oh, it's really sturdy. No, wind cannot move this. If you like put so much sticks together. Yeah. This is from outside of the teepee. I will admit, it's pretty good. Look at all the space we have. It's so spacious. As you, as you can say, this is the Eastern Dry Squirrel right there. I'm gonna approach it. This would be a really good food source. Look, I am right right there. There's plenty of them for after surviving. For after surviving. Wait, hold on. I'm actually gonna try killing this squirrel. Okay, oh, I got a spear, like naturally, and the squirrel's right there. This is a really good food source. And I'm sure, if I catch this, I'm gonna show you how to make a fire and just cook it. 
here. Oh, so close, guys. Oh, if you follow all of these tips in this video, you will be able to survive in the Indian Creek Trail. I'm just trying to create a spark to make a fire to close the video because I'm kind of sleeping. I kind of eat my MREs. Yeah. I don't know. My fire isn't working. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there you are. Oh, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the notification bells and comment when you're done. Peace. What do you think of that boat, girls? <laughs>